Hello pages, Whippin' Sean here once again in the flesh, naturally of course. So you probably missed me and this is a video to reflect back on the year 2012 and we're going to talk about my triumphant return to the forums as many of you know or maybe you could just call it me posting more but either way I've made an impact this year both good and bad whether you like it or not. Whip whip, what are you going to do? But since you missed me for Christmas, partially, we're going to do this up a little my way. And most of this video is going to be dedicated to one St. Cornelius. The guy I actually do like and respect a lot, even though, okay, maybe we don't have the best of history this year. Maybe I, I did something a little bad. But uh, I really like St. Cornelius, and I think he's an interesting pollster, an interesting guy. And believe it or not, we, did, we have actually... A long con, but he'll still hate me forever, and that's fine, whatever. But this is about his uh, plight, his current uh, confusion or issues about scarves and how to properly wear a scarf. Me being Canadian, naturally, I have a knack, if you will, for how to put on a scarf and how to make it look good, both for style and, of course, for substance and a purpose of keeping you warm. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate by showing you three different scarves. This is a classic winter scarf is a buffalo and generally this can be worn inside and outside but usually even though it looks thin a scarf like this and this size and length generally don't want to wear it inside for style just because it's it'll get a little too hot but either way if it is your purpose to wear a scarf like this on the inside one of the most basic and common and the easiest ways to wear it and make it work on the inside is just simply wrapping it over your neck like this and over the shoulders like that. Simple. You can even go like that if you wanted to, but that won't stay long, but yeah. And uh, this works well for scarves that are actually shorter, obviously, but generally this is the, the way that most people would wear. Now, another way that can also potentially keep your neck warm is doing what they do in, uh, in uh, jolly old England. Tie a little knot like a, like a tie, if you will. This, this, this works well too, and this is also good for, uh, for fashion wise, because you know, you can always adjust it, tighten it to where you will, put it behind you if you will, like there's so many different ways to wear a scarf like this, but generally, this is the best, the only two ways that you want to do it for the inside, is what I just showed you, and if you missed that, it's a very simple knot, right, you know, hold the two hands, loop it under, woo, kind of like a tie, right, choke it up, yeah, so you can do it, do it that way for sure, right. Many, many different ways, right? So, but if you want a tie or a scarf, sorry, how many times have I called it a tie today? Okay, whatever. If you want to wear a scarf purely for warmth and for keeping you warm, I'll show you my method. It's almost, it's basically similar, but I don't fold it over. Okay, I keep it, I keep it uh, opened, and then just keep it down this end about or whichever end you want about six to twelve inches just give it give it a little bit of uh, the end there and this one just wrap around like that so that it's open it's gonna hit your neck it's gonna it's gonna hit every area of your neck right and simply hold on it adjust it as you will the best part about this is when it's open like this and if you live in Canada like I do you could do this right cover your face cover your mouth cover your nose and you could tighten it so you look like Scorpion or Sub Zero or whatever ninja you want to fucking idolize, bitch. So yeah, this is probably the best method of keeping yourself warm. And you can always go like that if you will, but generally like that. That's the best way to wear a scarf in uh, Canada or maybe in any other parts of the world. There's a few other things you could do. Uh, some people you could uh, you could go like this and like double it up to get even more warmth, right? But it's maybe like if, if your scarf is too long, you could do that right too, but hey, it's a bull tie. All right. Now for the other kind of scarf is more of a, uh, um, not one meant for keeping you warm. All right. It's like a giant handkerchief. Usually these comes in, you know, they're, it's, a, it's a giant square that you basically fold in half. Now, all you got to do is when you do fold in half and make that triangle, flip it around about two times just to give it some uh, edge on it, a thicker edge, because believe me, it makes a huge difference. 
Now for these, you can wear these many different ways to wear these too. Actually, of course, the most traditional way and easiest way is simply wrap it around, tie a little knot in the back, knot tight, and just wear it like that. This is the most traditional and uh, simplest way of doing it, but there are other ways to. Uh, you can even like tuck it in, do whatever you want with it. It depends what kind it is and what style it is too. But this simple, basic. This is probably the only way that you do want to wear it. But I've seen like other people uh, like let it let it hang more. But eh, it's more baggage. But so yeah, that would be uh, the best possible ways to wear a scarf. And I would know because I wear a lot of scarves. I have many scarves, like they say, being in Canada. You get a lot of scars wrapped up in toques and whatnot, right? It's my Santa toque. I got this one. I got uh, this one. Sort of like the. Yo, what's up, bitch? You talking to me, motherfucker? Yeah, you, know, you got that style. You got the more of the thinner. Uh, I don't know what style you'd call this, but it wraps down, right? This one I actually wear the most, but uh, yeah. anyway, so. Also, I want to make this video uh, a little tribute to my 2012 of spending it mostly on old ages. Even though I didn't post as much as some of you or some of you claim I did, but uh, I had a great time. And it seems like I made some new friends along the way, old ages. Uh, Ralph Nader Perez, we got along really well. We found that we're Canadian and we got a lot in common. God, it's awesome being Canadian. But I digress once again. Uh, I hope that uh, your 2012 on Old Ages and Off was as great as mine. I'm sure it was. Most people had a great 2012. And you know what? Here's to an even better 2013. And here's to most of my favorite posters. Good luck. I can't name them all, but Kasama, Alamario, Austin Little, St. Cornelius, Hans, Ralph Nader for Perez, Liquid. Oh my god, there's so many. But yeah, I hope uh, you, have, you also had a great Christmas. I did. And remember, you don't want to walk around town, you don't want to go to work, you don't want to go to your favorite convenience store, your favorite bar, your favorite place to hang out, and look like an idiot wearing a scarf the wrong way. That'll just make you want to just do one thing. Kill yourself. And we don't want that. Right? Old pages. This is Whippin' Sean, wishing you all a very Happy New Year 2013. Make it a good one. Make it count. Make it worthwhile. Make it worth living. I hope you do everything that you want to do. Because I think I will. Well, whip whip. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thought that was funny, St. Cornelius. You thought I'm fucking around, St. Cornelius? Think I don't know who the fuck you are, St. Cornelius? Well, I got news for you, bitch. I've been watching you. Around every corner, every little step you take. I'm in the window. I'm in the curtains. I'm in the heat duct. I'm in the backseat of your car. I'm watching you. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Or am I? Who knows? Whip, whip. Bye.